What's up, everybody? Welcome to Comic Book Club. I'm Justin. I am Pete. We are doing a special episode on the mean streets of Brooklyn. Like, yeah. we're talking Park Slope, where people used to get murdered, and now they just uh, have kids. And babies. And babies, and babies, and babies. I'm wearing my leather jackets. I just painted my bathroom. Oh, uh, we got, yeah. I got some Indiana stuff. Indiana Jones called. He wants his look back. Uh, I wish I could give it to him, but I can't. I'm running the Kingdom of the Crystal Skulls now. We have three comics to talk about. We have Herc, Herc number 10, the last issue of the series, Heartbreaking, Haunt number 19, and of course Wolverine number 19, where Wolverine is fighting some dragons. Yeah. yeah. Let's get down to business. Let's talk about Herc number 10 first. Uh, end of the run. We've loved this series. Yeah, it's, we it's, thought we would come to you from the, uh, the streets of Park Slope because that's where this book just ended. And uh, yeah, great podcast. Just to paint your picture, like this book ended on this street. Like, no joke. Like, if you look at the last page of this issue, Herc is on the street, surrounded by the family, right here. Oh. So, like, that's what we do. Uh, next week, we're coming to you from Valhalla. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we do? That's what we do. We're on location. Uh, Always. Yeah. We're coming to you from uh, any, Valhalla. From, anyways, uh, the comic. The comic. Um, uh, really kind of a uh, nice, touching, light ending, kind of cool. Uh, I was a little surprised Herc was like, you know, spoilers. No, don't want the powers, Pops. Yeah. I want to get it on with Electra. I want to. I mean, I would make that same choice. Like, make I your know. choices. No, I, I think I would keep the powers and then get it on with Electra. You think? Well, I don't know. I think there's a negotiation there. I, like, I don't think Nick, Electra cares that much, really. I don't know. I think I know Electra pretty well. well all right. Uh, no, th this is the end of an epic run, cause, uh, going all the way back to when Hercules replaced Hulk in uh, the, the Incredible Hulk. Um, and it's sad to see it go. Uh, yeah. the, the great Fred team, Park, all Fred the way Fred Van through. they know action, they know comedy, and it's just been an awesome ride. So if you haven't checked it out, go back and uh, uh, grab it. I'm sure when it's in trade, it's going to be twice as hilarious. Yeah, but pick it up all the way from the beginning. They were they they were the guys that did the sound effects. They were yeah. the guys that did the the very animated sound effects in comics. That's their thing. This it's sad to see this book go. Definitely check it out. Let's talk about Haunt number nineteen now. Why we, Haunt we number made, 19? We made fun of Haunt a fair Why amount in our day. Why Haunt days. number 19? Uh, their new team has taken over Haunt. Uh, yeah. Joe Casey and Nathan Fox. Uh, what a team. Great team. I, Joe Casey's yeah. writing is amazing always. Uh, Nathan Fox, an artist. We've It was the first interview I ever did uh, for a Aww. website based on our comic book show. So, like, uh, close to my heart. Uh, taking over on this series that was... Uh, Kirkman, McFarlane, Greg yeah. uh, Capullo, like it's a... The art, that's what's great about this, is this book looks completely different. It's a totally Before different it really kind of looked like Spawn a little bit, this looks amazing. It's really crazy. Yeah. I feel like this is a good place for the book to live. Uh, uh, I hope they keep this team. Joe Casey's an amazing writer, so yeah. Uh, yeah. Totally new direction, really uh, interesting villain that, the, that Joe Casey introduces here. Uh, I'm excited. I, I like the I like this first issue. Like real, real violent. Nathan Fox's art is so like the perspectives. Creepy. And, very creepy. Yeah. yeah. And he come, the perspectives he comes from is so interesting in each page. Like definitely check this out. It's it's the I, very first I issue. I was of this very page. excited about it up until the last page. Oh, I, but see, it's a nice. I know it's no. a bummer for you because yeah. of your you know you just love love. Uh, <laughs> but it's a little. It's still awesome. It's a great page. Uh, check it out. Give it a chance. Yeah, guys. this was a uh, solid except for the last page. Don't read the last page. Uh, Wolverine number 19. That's a truck going by. Uh, that is a, actually a We look advantage. forward to the audio complaints, but uh, it was tough getting that, space. That right there was a movie, uh, it was a trailer for Yeah, they were probably wrapping up the comic book shoot they yep, just did. Yeah, the comic book club shoot. Uh, so Wolverine number 19. Uh, Wolverine, epic battle underneath the earth. Yep. Uh, dragons. Dragons. Uh, it's the old get eaten by the dragon trick. Yeah. You know what I mean? Wolverine does this a lot. Like yeah. We saw him eaten by Hulk and then slice his way out. Yeah. This time it's this time it's a dragon. So it's a little bit of old hat, but still, uh, I thought this was a really enjoyable run with Jason Aaron. Uh, not that it's over, but I thought it was a kind of a fun series of like. Uh, Wolverine kind of going in the Middle Earth and kicking some heads. It was a great, it was like a big trouble in Little China for Wolverine. Yeah, the last, like three exactly. issues. It's very great. Uh, you see him pop back up in Westchester County. Great Malkin Lane at the local bar. Yeah. So there's a great funny scene where they're just closing down the bar. They're like, yeah. no one's been coming here to our bar lately yeah. ever since the uh, X Mansion shut down. And all of a sudden, Wolverine pops out of the ground with a dragon on his ass. It's a great scene. Uh, Wolverine and his girl are like hanging out. 
great comic. Uh, I'm really this actually. I think Jason Aaron's run started off very like very serious and very like Wolverine Soul. It's a big yeah. fight. Now it's gotten so lighthearted and really fun. Like, yeah, it's I'm really much fun. happier with it now. Yeah, it's a really fun take on Wolverine where uh, you get a, a lighter kind of beer drink inside to Wolverine. It's him and a bunch of buddies in a crazy yeah. adventure, and it's really it's a great ride. And I really thought it would Big Trouble in Little China was a great way to sum it up. Uh, yeah, definitely. And uh, as you as you guys know, well, we're taping this on December first, uh, so uh, oh, Pete's okay. about to shave his mustache. Yeah, uh, yeah, the mustache the is going November. away. Hello, hi, how That's are you? Very significant. Yeah, yes, November, you're right, you're right. November. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> guys, we were kidding. We were on the streets of Brooklyn. That yeah. person lives here. Yeah, we don't live here. But luckily, she didn't yell at us for filming here, which is nice. She loved it. But don't worry, mustache will be gone. Uh, you know, I was trying to get back. Dude. We're all worried. About it. So guys, like. This has been Comic Book Club. Just leave some comments about Pete's mustache. Let, let us know what you really think. Should he keep it? Let us know what you think about the new hyped up couple beers in them, Justin. Yeah, yeah. Like a couple of leather jackets on him. Because I got a couple underneath this one even. Uh, thanks a lot, guys. Uh, every Tuesday night we are at the People's Improv Theater. Yeah, we'd beer. love to see you at the live show. He'll buy you a beer if you show up. I will always buy you a beer if you show up. Just send me an email. I'll never tell you my address. Thanks a lot, guys.